Did you know that boy bees don't have stingers? Did you know that? <laughs> only girls, only the girl bees have stingers. Hello? We hear you. I hear you. Yay! <laughs> How are you? I'm a bee. Oh! Wow! Look at that! <laughs> no, 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 bring it over here. They no, couldn't see it. Stinger. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, Aiden, how are you doing? Good. Welcome to interviews with Daddy Ann. Aiden. Or today should it be Daddy and the Bee? Or Daddy and the Bee. Daddy and the Bee. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're speaking with, are we speaking with a bee? No, you're speaking with a beekeeper. A uh, beekeeper, I keep getting confused, the beekeeper. So today we're talking to Cassie Jibo, who is partially an owner at Honey Bee Center, which is responsible for overseeing education, outreach, and events related to bees. Uh, she has been educating kids and adults on the importance of bees in our environment, for the past seven years. Cassie is one of the growing number of women who recognize that we need to design a plan for beekeeping both locally and on the whole globe to make sure that it has the role in food security, sustainability, and our climate. She's raised and born and raised in Burnaby, British Columbia, which is where, remember? In which country? Talked about it. Canada to our north in Canada. And she's a teacher and a mother and an outdoor uh, and a lifelong love of bug and dirts. Uh, Cassie originally pursued an early childhood career until she married into a beekeeping family. Cassie's passionate about leaving a healthy world behind for generations to come. She wants to educate and share this passion with others and believes that bugs and bees play a role in helping us achieve this goal. Thank you so much, Cassie, for being with us today. Yeah, the thanks for inviting me. help us to be, like, say, be honey. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. We have an even more important job, though. You know what the even more important job is? I'm collect pollen. Yes, and that's right. And spread it to other flowers. That's right. You got it. That is right. And you know, without bees, we wouldn't have fruit and vegetables and no food for cows. So no dairy, no ice cream. What? Yeah, it's important, right? We want to make sure that we take care of the bees because I like ice cream. Do you like ice cream? <laughs> I like strawberries. You like strawberries? I yeah. Um, only if so not sour. Aiden and I want to keep interviewing the coolest guests in the entire world. To help us do that, please subscribe and share our show so that we can get more people who are interested in being here with us. Have you yeah. ever got a bee sting? Yeah, yeah, I, I have. I got a on my foot. It's kind of memorable, isn't it? <laughs> it's memorable, how was, right? How was your bee sting experience? Um, bad. <clears throat> bad. Yeah. If I still it, had the sting in me, I could sting daddy. No, don't do that. <laughs> when did this happen, Aiden? A long time ago or recently? Um, recently. Just as recent, yeah. as, as, recent as last week, right? Yeah. Oh geez, does it still hurt? Is it still itchy? Um, now it doesn't hurt. Yeah. Um, before a few hours ago, it hurt. Yeah. It did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it hurts quite a lot. I mean, it it stops hurting over time. And I have to say, I was in the beehive today and no stings. So. I think that gets a thumbs up. For and it. I was at boogie boating, and then I walked up to the show and there was a bee, and I stepped on a bee. Yeah, yeah. Do you think you might know why that happened? Because the what? bee was scared. Bingo. Yeah, that's right. Bees only really sting when they're scared. Uh, and I guess if you got stepped on by a giant, you'd feel pretty scared, hey? <laughs> what do you think? Do you think, are you giant size compared to a bee? That's yeah. like this big, basically? <laughs> no, it's even this big. And you're like this big, so you're basically a giant to a bee. Did you know that boy bees don't have stingers? Did you know that? <laughs> only girls, only the girl bees have stingers. So what we do at Honey Bee Center is we take our bees 
And at the beginning of the flower, just coming off the plant, we put our bees into a field. So a blueberry field, a raspberry field, a cranberry field. And then once the flowers start blooming, the bees visit the flowers, they pollinate them. And when they come back to the hive, they bring the nectar home and they turn it into honey by drying it, by flapping their wings. So flap your hands as hard as you can like this. Flap, 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 hard as you can. Yeah, you got it. A bee can flap her wings. Excellent. <laughs> you did take off almost, right? A bee can flap her wings 200 times in one second. Like this. On your mark. Get set. Go. Flap. One. Stop. Did you get 200 times? <laughs> let, let me try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, one second. One second. Only one second. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Flap. One, two, three. One. Stop. Wow. Well, that's hard work. I can do that. I know that. That's because the bee can flap her wings so fast. Right? Aiden and I want to keep interviewing the coolest guests in the entire world. To help us do that, please subscribe and share our show so that we can get more people who are interested in being here with us. I always tell the kids, I'm like, how about marshmallow honey? If bees could pollinate marshmallows, that would be delicious. <laughs> Oh, what if a bee did pollinate marshmallows? What if- I know, would that- What if it could? It could. A bee actually could. You think that would be a delicious honey? Because the bee would put honey on the marshmallow. Like it pollinated- Oh. Just, so that would be just delicious. drop it on top of your s'mores. So normally I don't get stung because you know what I know? If you act like a bear, you get treated like a bear. But if you act like a beekeeper, then the bees leave you alone. So instead of doing this, ah, I just make sure that I'm quiet and calm and I move slowly and I'm still because then the bees know that I'm a beekeeper and I'm not going to hurt them. Then it's best for everybody. Yeah. Correct. Then yeah. the person doesn't get hurt and the bees don't get dead because if a bee stings, it gets dead. You got it! Oh, you know what? You're making my heart swell up because you understand. It, it hurts for us, but it's even worse for the bee because she dies. So it hurts. It sure does hurt, but it's worse for the bee. So the best thing to do is act like a beekeeper, not like a bear. It's fun to act like a bear, though. Do you want to act like a bear with me? You know what this is? It's a Lego beehive! <laughs> um, I built it out of Lego. What do you think? Do you like Lego? You don't like Lego, do you? I do. <laughs> I do. Okay, here, I'll turn you back around. Here we go. For real, and Aiden, I wanted it to be a surprise for you, but I knew that Cassie had that Lego <laughs> beehive, and it's an actual beehive that's working, but the outside box is made out of Legos, and I can show you some videos about how they yeah. made the beehive out of Legos. Pretty so cool, right? Why are okay, you next okay. to a beehive that is not really safe? Sorry, one more time, Aiden. You, um, you didn't have your suit on. Oh yeah, you know what? It's because I'm not acting like a bear. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? So, and she's not scared. She's just like, there. I see all yeah. these bees flying around. You can see them too. And does she look scared? She's just being calm. Look at, I they are right. See, look, look, look. All here. That's the oh, bobby one. That's the bobby one that I'm talking about. <laughs> now I really look like Beekeeper Barbie. I'm gonna have to tell. I'm gonna tell all my friends that Aiden says I look like Beekeeper Barbie. I think, I think that's the best compliment I've had all, uh, all year, buddy. Aiden and I want to keep interviewing the coolest guests in the entire world. To help us do that, please subscribe and share our show so that we can get more people who are interested in being here with us. How many eggs does the queen bee lay? Or how many can they? Yeah, so the queen bee can lay about 2,000 eggs a day in the spring and summer. 2,000 yeah. babies a day? Yeah, can you imagine? This is so lucky because we don't often find the queen. Aiden, this is your like, it must be because you're dressed up like a bee. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Cassie. Yeah. That's exactly. Yeah. What if a bee looked at me and says, he's a bee? Yeah, maybe he's that's a bee. Yeah, we're safe. He's a bee. Let's uh, show him our mom. There she is. Super Such cool. A 
exciting day. So if you want to find more about Cassie and the Honey Bee Center, then there's a few places that you would go online to see stuff. One would be on Instagram. Uh, they have a page that's called Honey Bee Center Kids. Wait, don't do this right now. Honey Bee Center Kids, and it's spelled Center is spelled C E N T R E instead of like the American way. So it's Honey Bee Center Kids, and again it's C E N T R E. Uh, they also have an Instagram page, Honey Bee Center, spelled the same way. They also have www.honeybeecenter.com, and on Facebook you can find them at Honey Bee Center is the <laughs> there too. So if you go on any of those places and you search for the Honey Bee Center, you'll find it and you'll see Cassie's stuff. And you can also find where they built the Lego Hive, which I will show to you afterwards, now that you know all about the surprise. So <laughs> this is a cool way to end out with Cassie because she looks super cool like that. But Cassie, we yeah. always take a minute at the end to thank the people who we're talking to because where could she be? Anywhere, but where is she? Talking to? Yeah. Talking. Thank you so much for being here, and it was really, it was a lot of fun. Should we? Yay! We, cold tooth. Cold tooth. Should we buzz our way out of this? Or what do you want to do? Let's buzz out of it. <laughs> oh yeah. Should we? Should we flap until I until I'm able to push the end button? Aiden and I want to keep interviewing the coolest guests in the entire world. To help us do that, please subscribe and share our show so that we can get more people who are interested in being here with us.